Hey y'all, I hope y'all are having a great day. I am going to come on here and do a project with you guys. I actually have this huge vase. I got this at Goodwill several weeks ago and it was $3.28. I'm going to start off with the base coat the first coat and I'm going to be using mineral in the Waverly chalk paint it's like a grayy beigey color I really love this color and it may need two coats I have some a little bit of baking soda in my paint and then once I get a good base coat I'm going to go over and airbrush on some plaster which is like an off-white color and bring out all that pretty design and texture so let's get going Okay, I've gone and done a little bit of touch up with the second coat. Now I just wanted to show you the chip that we have there at the top. I'm just going to use some of my air dry clay. I have some right here and I'm just going to put it and size it to fit here and let that harden and dry and then the crack won't be noticeable, the tear. But I'm going to go, I'm gonna let that sit and then I'll just go and tear off this excess part here. That won't be there. But I'm just gonna kinda play with it a little while and get it exactly the shape and everything of how I want it. My piece is still a little bit wet, so um, if I make a boo-boo, I can just go back and touch up. I'm just going to mash a little bit. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay guys, I have let this sit, our little piece we fixed with our air dry, dry clay. It is good, it was hard enough, it will definitely harden some more, but it's hard enough for me to go ahead and go on with my painting technique. I have here mixed up two um, colors. Don't, my jars are a little stained, these are my painting jars, but um, I have done a salt wash um, paint and all I have used, okay, I didn't need much paint normally when I mix this recipe up. I'm using like a cup of paint and two heaping tablespoons of my, um, I use the pickling salt, but any um, salt will work. This pickling salt is more coarse. You could also use Epsom salt, um, and then I also use baking soda. You can use plaster of Paris as well, but I didn't have any on hand, so I used baking soda. Um, but I use this agave color and just a dab of elephant. Um, I wanted to tone it down just a little bit, so I used a dab of elephant for this color. Mix that up. I added... Um, 
about a heaping teaspoon of my pickling salt and a heaping teaspoon of my baking soda and mix it really well. And then for my other color, I'm using truffle, which is the brown color in the Waverly chalk paint. Same amount, I used um, about a teaspoon of, I mean, excuse me, a tablespoon of paint. And then I used about a heaping teaspoon of the pickling salt and a heaping teaspoon of the baking soda and mixed really well. Okay, I'm going to be starting with my truffle salt wash color. And with salt wash, um, I'm gonna be using a, one of the chippy brushes. And you just do a dabbing technique versus the, the long strokes. You want to do a dabbing technique. And I'm just going to cover this entire piece with this color. We're gonna let that dry completely and then we're gonna go on to the next color. Okay guys, we got one side done. I totally underestimated the amount of paint I would need. This is a very large base. Um, so I got half of it done. So now I'm going to mix up enough paint to do the other half the exact same way. All right, y'all, here we go with our second salt wash color. I've got, again, I've got my chippy brush and I'm going to do that dabbing motion. Same technique, just all over. And as you can see in my, um, with my other color, with my truffle, um, I did not get full coverage. I did have some spots where the mineral paint was left showing, and that is fine the way this technique works that's fine um <clears throat> to do it like that especially with the look i'm kind of going for for this base um there may be sometimes you do want to fully cover it with each color um it just all depends on you know what you like and the look that you're trying to achieve with each project but for this project, this is the way I think it would be better. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing all over until I get the vase fully um, covered. Now that's good and dry, so we are ready. Those are my only um, salt wash colors I'm going to do on this piece. So we're ready to do our final coat, which is going to be our coat of white paint. Here I have the plaster color in the Waverly chalk paint. I also went ahead and mixed in some clear wax, and I added probably about two teaspoons of baking soda just to give that a little bit of texture and just to help it adhere to our surface so we're going to go ahead and get this painted on and now this top coat we're just going to paint on with our long brush strokes like usual we don't have to use the dabbing technique with it
Okay, y'all. I have my 220 grit sandpaper here. And our vase is good and dry. So we're just going to go with our sandpaper and just gently kind of rub over our vase and see how it does. Okay, y'all, I finished sanding the vase. I love the way it turned out. I ended up having to take it outside and finish sanding it. I didn't realize I was going to have to sand it quite so much, so I didn't want all that dust in here on my bar and everything, and I didn't film outside because it's so windy out there today. You wouldn't have been able to have heard me, and it would have just been a big mess. So, um, but anyway, I got it done. I can't wait for you to see it. Let me turn you around. And there it is. I love how this face turned out. I love that salt wash technique. I'm going to zoom in where you can see all those pretty colors popping through. That beautiful agave blue color. You can see some of that truffle brown color. You can also see some grays popping through from where we had our base coat as the mineral, which is that grayy color. You can see all the texture from our salt wash. And this base already had a little bit of texture in some areas, but mostly that is from our salt wash that we mixed up and painted onto the vase. Also up here, you can see the design that was already in the vase. And by me sanding it, it just grabbed that paint off where you could still see all of those detail. I wanted to also show you where we had to fix it with our air dry clay right in here. So that looks really good. You can see right here where there's just a little crack where the clay met the... Um, Oh my goodness, ceramic, I couldn't think of it. Where the clay met the ceramic, but that's okay to me. That just adds more character to our piece, more detail. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Also, you can always um, customize it to, you know, what you are wanting, what look you're wanting to go for. You could sand it more and have, you know, more of these colors popping through. You can sand it less and have, you know, less of those colors popping through. You can also, of course, do different colors. We could have also, I could have done the top coat, you know, the agave blue color where we would have just had mostly the blue and then some specks of the white and grays and browns. So, however, guys, there's so many possibilities with this technique, and you can just make so many different beautiful pieces. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this project, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you on our next project. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell where you're getting notifications for future videos. I hope y'all have a great day.